Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building the world of Brenton Bay which is the world that we got from the expansion pack of Sims 4 Cats and Dogs and I'm going to be building a multi-purpose and multi-functioning community lot which I am calling the Hamptons Country Club and Spa. So first things first, I highly recommend that you go grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, but probably also grab a snack while you're there because even though this is a community lot type venue, this build, it ends up being absolutely colossal. I know it probably doesn't look like it right now, but there ends up being four levels in this build and each level is kind of like built around a different community lot venue in the game but this week I finally sat down and built a country club in the world of Brenton Bay which has been on my to-do list for years at this point because to me the world of Brenton Bay I try and interpret it as almost like the Hamptons in the game and in my head the sims that live in this world they've got so much money like they've got more money than sense they've probably come from like generational wealth and they've got a lot of free time and so I've just always wanted to sit down and build almost like a, a hub for them to come together and they can do all these different like rich people activities within the inside of it and it's just I've just wanted to build this for so long and if I'm being honest there was so many different attempts of this build before the one that you're seeing and when I say that I don't mean this week there was a few different attempts before this one this week that I you know this is the one that I was actually happy with the other ones I wasn't 100% with but over the years I've come back to this lot so many different times like literally more times than I would willingly admit and attempted to build a country club and I've just never been happy with it I've never been 100% and I've always just ended up basically just putting them in the bin, just bulldozing them because if I'm not happy with the structure of a build, I know that I'm not gonna love it as much on the inside and then I don't wanna do it, you know? And so I just, I've just attempted this so many different times over the years and I've always been a little bit nervous to build it as well because in my head, this is the place, like this is the place that Brick and Fat Sims come. So I've I've been a little bit nervous to actually sit down and, and, and film it, but I finally did this week and I'm just, I'm so happy and I'm just so in love with this build. Like every single centimeter, I'm just absolutely obsessed with. And so, yeah, I really hope you like it as well. But anyway, moving on from that and getting on and talking a little bit more about the build itself and also what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I've now pretty much figured out the main shape for this build. I've come in, I've done the majority of the roof line, I've done some wallpapering and I just quickly finished off by placing down a little like tower in the roof line, almost like a clock tower. Now, when I say that I've attempted this build numerous times before in the past i don't want you thinking that i've like fully furnished the whole entire thing honestly every single time i've attempted to build a country club in the game i haven't even got to the landscaping point because it's more like the structure that i i really struggle with and i was kind of running into a similar problem with this one because when i first built it i built the walls i did the roofing i did the wallpapering and i was liking it i was thinking yeah this is going nice but then i was looking at it i was thinking does kind of look a little bit like a house and so I was like well if I add in some sort of like clock tower into the roof line it then makes it feel a little bit more like a country club and so yeah that's what I decided to do now I do want to mention when I was building this I wasn't looking at any picture that I found on Pinterest or anything that I saw on like Instagram or Google I was actually on Google Maps because the thing is when it came round to finding almost like a starting point for this build, which normally if ever I'm struggling to kind of, you know, figure out how some of it's gonna look, pop onto Pinterest, there is hundreds, if not thousands, or hundreds of thousands of different pictures that you can use as a reference point. But when I was struggling, I was like, oh, just go onto Pinterest, I'll have a little look. And maybe it was just my Pinterest feed, but it was, it, it, nothing was coming up. And so I was like, well, why not just go to the main source? Why, why am I trying to find a Hamptons Country Club on Pinterest? Google Maps exists and so I went onto Google Maps and I typed in the Hamptons and I made it so the Hamptons has pretty much taken over my whole entire screen and you know sometimes when say for example you're looking for like a, a restaurant or you need a petrol station or something and you can zoom out to the area that you want to search in and you can type in them things and it will show up well I did that but instead of typing in like petrol station or, or restaurant I typed in country club and honestly I was shocked with the amount of different country clubs that came up there must have been about 30, 40 different country clubs in the Hamptons area. And basically what I did, one by one, I went through, found them on 3D view, and basically wrote down the ones I thought were the prettiest and then used them as some sort of reference point. Now I would tell you all the different names of these country clubs or like golf clubs, but I wrote down I think around about 10. 
and it's just too much information. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little picture of my notebook on the screen and you can just kind of ignore my handwriting, but you can see the ones that I've wrote down. And then if you fancy, you can maybe have a little like Google 3D map view for yourself. Honestly, I had the oh, time of my life going on Google Street View because the houses that are around these different golf clubs and country clubs, and there's even a yacht club in there as well, but the houses that are around them Honestly, it gives me so much building inspiration in the game. But, you know, I basically just wrote down all these different country clubs and then just kind of took elements from each one of them and then put them into this build and kind of made almost like a bit of a, a Frankenstein build, if you want to put it that way. But moving over from that, as you can see, I've now moved on into the inside of this build and I'm currently coming in and pretty much just figuring out the floor plan and almost like the layout of the inside. Now, like I said, it's a country club, but unfortunately we don't have a bog standard like country club venue type in the game. And so the way that I built it, you could run this venue as I think seven different community lot types in the game. You could run it as a bar or a lounge, a gym or a spa, a wedding venue, a pool, or a bit rogue the last one, but you could also run it as an onsen bathhouse. And I mean, even though we don't have a like an actual country club type venue in the game, I feel like all the different types of lot you can run this venue as does make up what would be on the inside of a country club. I will say, by the way, I have actually been inside of a country club before. It's only one. I've only ever been inside of one. And I say inside, I used to work for one or inside of one. Before I started uni, I used to work in a bar in a country club for a bit. You know, in Sims, when you can hire a little bartender, that was made for I popped off to uni. But I have worked in a, in a country club before. Nothing like this one. I've never been to the Hamptons. But I kind of have a rough idea of what the layout used to be like in that one. It was all very separated. And so coming into building one in the game, I kind of wanted to make it feel quite similar because to me, I don't want you to say, for example, run this at a wedding venue, but then next door to the wedding venue, you've got someone on the treadmill or you've got someone doing some weights. So I tried to make it a little bit more separate. So each level, it makes sense for all the different rooms to be on that level if you follow along with me. So basically what happens is your sims will show up outside of the lot, which the outside I tried to make quite fancy anyway. You can see that I'm currently coming in and doing some train paint, but I tried to make the initial street entrance for this place very they look like they've got money whoever owns this they have got bags in the bank but basically you have like these little flags you have like a nice little signpost we have some awnings on the windows which a lot of the different country clubs that i was looking at on google map view a lot of them had awnings and so i felt like it's only essential to have it so this one did but you'd walk in through like the little staircase area pop through the front door and straight away you're already in almost like the reception lobby now i placed down in the end like a little computer desk area i placed down some like awards and medals behind it I'm thinking if we did have golf in the game, this would almost be like a golf club. We don't have them, but in my head, it'll be nice if we did. And so I placed down at some like awards that could be either for golf or it could be for tennis or it could be for basketball, for soccer, just something in, in this club behind like the initial entrance. Just so when your sins are walking through the front door, they know that this place is up to some sort of standard but then by the initial entrance you have a left wing or you have a right wing if you go into the left wing that is kind of like where all the wedney bits and bobs are i purposely tried to make it so if your sims wanted to maybe hire this place as their wedding venue your sims wouldn't really have to venture out onto the right hand side and all of like the the spa the gym the onsen bathhouse like everything else that is inside the country club doesn't really apply it to the wedding party they can use it if they want to but for gameplay purposes and then I also feel like for realism purposes I tried to make it feel a little bit more separate but you go through the left hand door and you're into like a little separate hallway in that hallway got a nice little toilet area if your sims need a wing they're part of the wedding party they're sorted also by the way I wrote down just because I thought it was really funny there is 15 toilets on this lot so if your sims need a wing they are sorted on every single level that they're gonna be on but there is one of the toilets there and then there is also a woohoo closet in the wedding area because I'm thinking right Sometimes when you watch films and when you watch TV shows, people seem to meet a lot of people at weddings. Maybe your sim's mate, it's their big day and they're getting married and maybe your sim is part of the wedding party. But then maybe the other sim that is getting married, your sim's mate's partner, that's a bit of a mouthful, but your sim's mate's partner, maybe they've got someone apart of their wedding party and your sim fancies them. 
there's a woohoo closet in the hallway it's easy access it's quite close to it so yeah if you want to your sims can use the woohoo closet but then you actually go into the initial wedding room area to start off with i made it so your sims will walk in through almost like the after party room so in there your sims can do some dancing they can have their first dance they can cut the cake they can do some drinks and they can do all the wedding kind of stuff and then from that room there is a nice little door and your sims walk in through that door and that is almost like the the ceremony room if that's what you call it must admit i did kind of structure the floor plan for the downstairs based off this wedding ceremony room it's basically the elopement room where your sims get married but you might have seen when i did the floor plan i came in i deleted all the different walls and then i found the wedding arch and i wanted to make sure that there was enough room for your sims to get married and then also walk down the aisle and then once i figured out that there was enough room i then kind of like built the rest of the floor plan around it but yeah your sims have this room where they can get married so they can you know what i just said they can walk down the aisle they can stand at the wedding arch they can do the old the old thing and then your sims can have guests there and purposely i made it. so the wedding arch ends up being dead center in the room and then all the natural daylight from all the windows at the front of the build kind of come in and just for screenshot purposes i feel like it's going to be really pretty but yeah that's kind of like the little wedding section your sims can access other sections of the build from the wedding area but yeah like i said i just kind of wanted to make it feel a little bit more separate so if they are having a wedding or some sort of event is being hosted here sims don't have to kind of leak out into other areas where they don't need to be but then if you was to go back into the entrance hallway and you was to chuck a right you then have more of like the country club area so i'm thinking if your sims are maybe a member at the gym in this country club they would walk in through the front door and they would go to the right hand side or if your sims wanted to use the sparse facilities they would go to the right hand side pretty much everything but the wind stuff is on the right hand side or you can access from the right hand side but then i say that the floor plan, your sims, if they're in the wedding, all they've got to do is walk through one single arch right and they're into some like big lounge room area and then they're kind of in the country club. But for gameplay purposes, I just tried to make the floor plan as easy and as ideal as possible. I hope you're following along with me. But either way, on the right hand side, you walk in through the door and you have two different staircases. One goes upstairs, one goes downstairs. I'll tell you about what's on both of them shortly. But then we have a little door which goes into what I was picturing would be the gentleman's room. So in there, I end up placing down the this huge bar we got it from a love strike expansion pack but it's a circular bar i never use circular bars in the game but you know the awnings that i've placed down the windows in the exterior the awnings that i've used they're from the cozy bistro kit and i use them in this deep emerald green color because to me emerald green is a very rich color i feel like whenever i think of wealth and i think of colors i think of navy emerald green and like a maroon red and the awnings are used in this green color and luckily enough this new bar that we got from the love Strike expansion pack this big circular one also comes in a very similar color swatch and so to me maybe the emerald green is like this club's country colors or something but yeah you know, i placed down a really big bar in there also placed down some more wall cabinets i placed down some like seating area i'm thinking the really rich sims the sims that are maybe into like banking or something maybe they come here and they like to have a scotch or something and they chat in that room but then off that it almost ends up being like a massive lounge space i don't really know what to term it as but i feel like country clubs whenever you search up country club interior on pinterest you see loads of it it's basically like a room that's got some leather sofas in it, it look quite uncomfortable but i feel like that's just like the country club vibe but in there i placed down a fireplace i also end up placing down a tv because where i wanted this to run as a bar one of the lot type requirements is to have a tv and i must admit when i was furnishing i did kind of forget about that because the way that i'm building this club right now i'm building it as a residential purely because i didn't want random sims being in like the reception room when i'm trying to furnish it and so i built it as a residential but when it came around to like taking the screenshots and playtesting it i swapped it out to be all the different venue types but yeah it's kind of like a sitting room in there we've got leather sofas like i said tv fireplace bookcases we've got radio stations it's just somewhere if your sims want to maybe sit down and have a have a catch up or maybe maybe actually there's a club in the world of brinton bay and this is like their meeting hotspot and they like to go in there and have a little chit chat or maybe watch sports on the tv or something but it also does kind of function to be a bit of a hallway going on to the exterior of the build because your sims if they're on the inside and they want to get outside they'd more so likely walk through that room and so i didn't want to clutter it up too much but yeah it's kind of like a little bit of a 
a community lounge area, if you want to put it that way. But whilst we are kind of on the subject of the exterior of the build, you can see that currently I'm coming in and figuring out the upstairs window placement because I'll tell you about it shortly on. I'm, I will carry on telling you what's on the inside because there is so much, but on the upstairs level, there is this massive yoga studio and I purposely wanted to place some nice big windows. So when your Sims are in a yoga class, they've got really pretty views of the water. And so that was what you just saw me do. But on the outside of this build, there for starters, end up being one of the pools in this build because this lot ends up having both an interior and an exterior pool. But then there also ends up being some sun lounges. There ends up being a basketball court as well as a tennis court. Now I will say the tennis court is a little bit of a silly idea because we don't actually have tennis in the sims floor although and I'll tell you about it shortly there is a mod for it and so I was thinking if you're someone that likes to play with mods in your game you could swap out the tennis court but basically when it came around to figuring out the exterior placement all the different items I knew that I wanted there to be some sort of swimming pool lounge area I'm thinking all like the, the yummy mummies in the world of Brinton Bay, they might come here and spend their days in swimsuits with like floppy hats on and they order like martinis by the pool and they, you know, they like to sunbathe. I also purposely placed the sun loungers the way around that you've seen them by the way because when I was filtering through the different times of day, this seemed to be the time of day that had the most like daylight on that section of the back garden. I don't know if you would have seen that but I purposely tried to make it so where the sun loungers are, it might not seem the best structurally wise but for gameplay purposes, if your sims want to get a tan i feel like it's the the best placement for them but yeah i was thinking that yummy mummies would come here and they'd have martinis by the pool and they catch a tan all day but then i also wanted there to be some sort of sporting activity here i'm thinking where we don't have golf in the game and i was kind of basing this off golf clubs in real life i was thinking well maybe instead of a golf club it's a basketball club which doesn't really make much sense. But at least your Sims, it's got another gameplay activity. Your Sims, if they want to, they can play some basketball. But then just in front of the basketball area, there was this kind of like empty space. And at first I was like, I'll just make it into like a nice little garden. But I was thinking, oh, well, hang on. There is actually a tennis mod in the game, which I will link for you if you are interested. It's not required for you to download this build and have it in your game. It's just if you fancy and you're someone that likes to play with mods. But basically, there is a tennis mod in the game that replaces the ping pong from Discover University. And instead of having like a ping pong bat and a ping pong table, it makes it so it's a tennis court and like tennis bats. It's really cool. I am actually yet to play with it in my own personal gameplay, but I was thinking, well, if you do like to play with mods, and I know a lot of people do, you could just, you know, swap it out and then you've got pretty much a already built tennis court on this lot. Like I said, it's not required and also this, this build doesn't include any custom content or any mods when you actually download it. I'm using two mods, the tool mod and the better build by mod to help me build, but the way that I built the tennis court, honestly, it was two different fences plopped down next to each other and then I found a live edit fence and put it in the middle to make it look like some sort of pretend net. It's all for like storytelling purposes, but yeah, like I said, I will link for you a tennis mod if you are in the market for one, if you fancy one, but yeah, I just had this perfect space for it and I thought, perfect opportunity, why not do it? And so yeah, there is a little tennis court, but going back to the inside of this build and focusing on now the upstairs portion. Now, like I said, on the upstairs, it ends up being a massive yoga studio. It's got beautiful, like big windows that look out onto the water. And then as well as that on the upstairs, there ends up being two massage rooms a nail salon and then a literal bathroom. When I say literal bathroom, I mean like literally it's a, it's a room for baths because with the spa day game pack, we've got all these different types of fancy baths that your sims can have. They can have like milk and honey baths or they can have mud baths or they could have, I'm pretty sure like lavender baths. There's like, all these different types of, yeah, fancy baths that your sims can have. And where I'm building a spa, because I think on the gallery, by the way, I'm gonna upload this to be a spa venue type. I felt like it was only necessary to, to include a literal bathroom for it. So yeah, there is like a little a room where your sims can have a mud bath. There is also a nail salon. So if your sims want to, they can get a manicure, they can get a pedicure. And then there is also two massage rooms. I tried to make one couple's massage room and then one single's massage room. But when it came around to play testing, I realized only one massage therapist showed up. And then when I tried to get my sim to order a second one, they never showed up. They did a runner. They, they didn't turn up. And so I end up deleting it and just making it so there is two singles massage rooms. But yeah, the top level is very like spa-like. But then if you go downstairs into the basement, which I will say, by the way, I did decide to cut out the floor plan for the basement. Just the way that basements work in The Sims 4, sometimes if you have a basement and then you don't have any like 
area above it the terrain goes a bit weird and it's just it's a whole fuss so when i was doing the floor plan for the basement i kept on going up and down up and down with the camera and sped up it was it was literally a disaster and so i did decide to cut it out i really hope you don't mind but like always there'll be overhead screenshots of the whole entire floor plan at the end of the video but yeah in the first basement you go downstairs we have almost like a little seating area if you go to the left that's where the gym is and then if you go to the right that's where some changing rooms and some bathrooms are i did place down bathrooms rooms onto every single level in this build so if your sims need a wee and they're on like the top floor they don't have to go down to the basement there is there is toilets for basically every single sim in every single room in, in this lot because i know it is so big and for gameplay purposes i felt like it was only essential but as well as that in the gym lobby area you go down the final set of stairs and that is where we have the second pool so we have an indoor pool we also end up having an onsen bathhouse situation we have like a little hot springs down there we have some showers we have some changing rooms and then we also end up having two saunas so there is a lot in this build and i i'm kind of like now rushing to talk about every single thing because i'm now very much aware that i've now moved on to the inside but yeah literally everything that you can think of that would be in a country club like spa stuff saunas hot springs indoor pool outdoor pool basketball courts tennis courts wedding venue stuff nail salon like literally everything that i could think of i made sure that i would include in this build somewhere and like i said i'm just so happy i'm just so proud of this build and the way it came together and just everything about it i'm just absolutely obsessed but anyway moving over from that as you can see i've now moved on into the inside of the build i started off by like that fancy initial entrance hallway so as soon as we're walking through the front door in my head if they're attending a wedding they'd go up to like the little receptionist and be like you're right i'm here for blah blah this wedding and they'll kind of like check them in and then they'll say to them head towards the left hand side and they'll go through into this initial hallway so like i said in this hallway there ends up being a woohoo closet which is on the other side of the wall but it's somewhere for if your sims want to they could you know meet someone at a wedding and they don't have to go far they don't need a bed that they, they could use a shower there is plenty of showers in this build i think i placed on like 20 odd showers or something ridiculous but there is multiple different changing rooms for so like the spa the hot springs the pools and stuff but if they don't want to use a shower for woohoo they can just pop outside the wedding room and yeah there's a little like maintenance closet we got it from the love struck expansion pack and i'm so happy that we've got like a new woohoo closet in the game because previously your sims could woohoo in a closet but it was one of the actual closets that your sims would get changed into Whereas Whereas the one that I've used is meant to look like some sort of maintenance room, if you get the gist. But yeah, I'll place that down into that hallway. There is a tiny little toilet. There is toy toy. <laughs> there is two toilets in this section, but I only show you the furnishing for one of them because it's quite boring to show you the same thing over and over again. But yeah, there is one little toilet, a little like seat outside of it, which I imagine would be one of the wedding venues chairs, and it's just been placed outside the bathroom area. Maybe someone's in there having a wee maybe they're taking their time and so maybe someone is sitting down or something but you move through there go into it the first room which ends up being kind of like the the wedding dance party aftermath kind of room but then you go for a doorway and then you enter this room which you're currently coming in and decorate in which is the ceremony room so in here like i said i basically configured the floor plan for the whole entire country club purely off this room because with the my wedding series game pack we've got this one item which is a wedding aisle and you see on the floor i've got these little white rose petals or well, basically in gameplay if your sims want to they can send someone up or down the aisle so if your sims have got like a, a flower pal and they're throwing rose petals onto the floor they'll walk down there or the ring bearer or you know people of the wedding party people can walk down the aisle and it's, it's just really cute animations and i know that if i was going to have a a little wedding ceremony room i need to include it so when it came around to figuring out the floor plan i basically figured out the shape and size of this room <laughs> purely off that but in here as you can see i placed down a number of different chairs for wedding attendants guests what you know what i mean wedding guests that they can sit down on them and i also placed down at two flowers in the corner i placed down like a little sign next to the wedding arch and the wedding arch itself I actually used one which is from the Sims 4 base game. Thing is, we've got so many new wedding arches in the Sims 4 now, mainly from the My Wedding Stories game pack, but I know that we've got one from the Cottage Living expansion pack, we've got one from the Island Living expansion pack, like we've got a number of different wedding arches, but the one that I wanted to use was from My Wedding Stories, you might have seen, I pulled it out, it was kind of like a little wooden one and it had some sort of curtain, like draped over it, beautiful, went to go and use it, notice, it's a bit tall. 
And I, I went upstairs and then I could see it was going through the ceiling. So they made that wedding arch to be made for medium height rooms. And so because of that, I did debate sizing down the wedding arch and making it a little bit smaller. So then I'd be able to fit it. But then I was like, but then is that going to work? And then I didn't want to try my luck. And so in the end, I just decided to use... Yeah, a base game one. Luckily, at one point, they gave us some recolors of the base game one notch because now it's got, I think, like 10 or 12 different swatches that you can, like, filter between. But I just went for a bog standard white one. And then also for the rest of the wedding stuff, you can see it's very white in here. One, because that felt very rich and really fancy to me. But then two, I was thinking, if you wanted to and you wanted to download this build and your Sims, they fancy having some sort of Hamptons-inspired wedding but you don't want to have the colour white, you could very easily switch the colour swatches of all the different objects to be whatever colour you fancy. There's like blue, red, pink, there's rainbow colours, there's like yellow colours, brown colours. There's all these different types of swatches on the items that I've used from my wedding stories, but you know, I decided to go for the white one because to me, it felt a little bit more rich it felt a little bit more fancy but you can see currently i'm coming in and actually just finishing up the secondary room which is kind of like the after party room that i imagine that your sims would use after the wedding has kind of like been and done so in there i placed down a dance floor i placed down a fireplace which isn't essential i must admit but i was thinking country club they might have a fireplace in the wedding room, so I placed down a fireplace. I also ended up placing down a few different seating areas with some chairs. All of the stuff that I use for like the chairs and then also like the dance floor, that is from the My Wedding Stories game pack. Then I also placed down a little piano in the corner and then also some speakers. And then you might have seen as well actually, I placed down a random table in the middle of the dance floor. But then I placed down a debug wedding cake on the table. Now, I purposely did it to show you that I didn't just place down that table and forget about it because one of the things and one of the features of when your Sims is having a wedding is cutting the wedding cake. And the amount of times that I have had a wedding in the game, it must admit it hasn't been for a while, but the amount of times that I've had a wedding in the game and my Sims don't have anywhere to put the put the cake and like have all these different screenshots taken because when Sims take the screenshots, I'm pretty sure you can get them to like feed each other bits of the wedding cake. It's just very cutesy and I want it to be a moment. And so I was like, well, I'll place down a empty table purposely for the wedding cake and then that way where it's in the center of the room and you want to take screenshots you've got like people dancing behind you or you've got windows you've got a little piano or something and yeah i just placed down like a little debug cake just to show you that i didn't like place down the table and forget about it there was a, a purpose behind it, but either way, moving over. As you can see, I've now moved on into the next room, which is that kind of like lounge sitting room that I was talking about. So in here, as you can see, I placed down three three-seater sofas. The ones that I've used are from the Cottage of an Expansion Pack. I always think that these are like Chesterfield sofas, if you know what I'm talking about. Like them really uncomfortable looking leather sofas, which rich people just seem to love them for some reason but i was looking on pinterest for like inspiration for this type of room and all of them had leather sofas so yeah i popped down three sofas in here currently i placed down a fireplace which is also from the cottage living and then i placed down this really fancy and really expensive painting on top of the fireplace but when it came around to play testing i noticed that i couldn't function it as a bar purely because i forgot a telly and so I removed that fancy painting and I replaced it with a TV that we've got from the Modern Lux kit, but it looks like a painting. So it's still kind of the similar idea, but in here, as you can see, I placed down some bookcases. The ones that I've used are from the Discover University expansion pack, I think of memory, but I've actually got something quite silly to tell you about these bookcases because I personally cannot wrap my head around this but basically when it came around to it figuring out what was going to be in this room I didn't want to over clutter it because it's one a community lot and for this lot I didn't want to just you know go go ham with with the clutter because it's a community venue it's not someone's else so I wanted to hold back on the clutter must admit it was quite hard in some places but I didn't want it to be overfilled with clutter because of that but then also it kind of functioned as a bit of a hallway and so I thought well I'll place down some bookcase on either side of the walls lovely bit of gameplay no not because i size them down because they are meant to be a medium like size bookcase but when i got my playtester sim to try and get a book from the bookcase i wrote it down in my notebook it says that there was no books to read what are you on about yeah there is i can see them for some reason in this type of community venue whether i functioned it to be a spa a gym a wedding venue my sim could not read any book from that bookcase kind of did place it down for decoration purposes but i just thought it was so bizarre i play tested it just to see you know just to try my luck but yeah for some reason your sims at community lots 
they can't read apparently they, they, they just lost that that function but i placed them down either way just to kind of like fill out the room i also ended up placing down some extra armchairs in the corner as well as like a little radio station and then you might have seen in between the bookcases i deleted the middle one and then replaced them with a window either side now the side that hasn't got the radio station in front of i decided to replace the window and re-add back in at one of the bookcases because the way that i initially did it i placed down a window on on the outside but then it looked a bit weird when I zoomed out on the outside. The other side where the radio station is, I placed down a window and I kept that window because on the exterior, it made sense for a window to be there. But on the other side, it just, it didn't make any sense. And so I did decide to delete that, but you'll see that in the screenshots. But now moving over, as you can see, I've now moved on into the next room, which is the gentleman's room. So I'm thinking so many different Sims that have so much money come in this room. I'm thinking that Sims that are like investment bankers, Sims that come from some sort of general generational wealth sims that are maybe really good basketball players or really good tennis players would come into this room and they would talk money talk business and so in there i ended up placing down this bar that i was referencing from the love struck expansion pack the one that i was talking about that has this very similar green color it could not be more perfect like that bar for this country club it's like it was made for it because the green color on the bar itself really resembles the color of the awnings in the exterior and so that's when i got the idea of well maybe this country club has like its own color swatch or like you know for example you know tiffany's like the jewellery company you know tiffany blue maybe this country club has like their own country color and it's this really deep emerald gold color i just really like that idea but in that room i ended up placing down the really big bar i ended up placing down some little cabinets that i placed down some trophies inside of I also end up having two doors both of them go outside one of them i placed down i think two love seats in the end because i realized when it came around to to gameplay for some reason my sim couldn't have it function as a lounge because there was no seating areas there was but it's because i didn't place down any love seats you know any two tall sofas which was a bit bizarre but i end up placing down two of them outside and then as you would have seen i did also place down a chess table and again for some reason when your sims are in a community lot just lose the function to be able to play chess. Now, I will say, when I playtested the chess table, I was running it as a spa, which is what I intend to upload this build as onto the gallery. But I say they can't play chess. No, they know how to play chess. I should reword that. For some reason, it says that your sims don't have permission to play chess. What are you on about? Like, what, what do you mean I can't play chess? Like, what is... I don't understand it, but there is a chess table. So if you decide that you don't want to run it as a spa one day and you want to have a wedding venue, the chess table will work. Like, I did get the, the little masseuses, because they could use it. My sim couldn't, but the masseuses could. But I got the masseuses to playtest it. They were fine. But if your sims want to run it as a wedding venue, the chess table will function. But for some reason, if you run it as a spa, it just doesn't work. I just don't understand this game sometimes. But yeah, that was in the little, like, gentleman's club room. It also looks out onto the tennis court and the basketball court. And so I'm thinking maybe maybe there's like tennis scouts or basketball scouts and they come to this country club and they like to watch over all the different players and they want to see who they want to scout and maybe be a part of the next oh uh, what's basketball is it nfl it is nfl oh, i don't follow basketball i barely follow football but yeah maybe they sit in that room and watch all the players and look who is going to be the next Travis Kelsey or something but evil way moving over as you can see I've now moved on to the upstairs portion I'm currently coming in and doing the massage rooms so like I said I tried to make it so the majority of the upstairs portion of the build is mostly spa we've got the two massage rooms we end up having a massive yoga studio as well as a nail salon and bathroom like literal bathroom there is also toilets up here as well there is two just of the little massage rooms but in here I placed down the massage table that we got from the spa day refresh i believe but currently i've used it in this dark brown and then kind of like oak wood color which i do really like but then you'll see when i move over and i start doing the nail room i then wanted to use the massage chairs in a different color swatch and i wanted the furniture to be consistent throughout because i'm thinking the people that do the massages and like own the massage bit probably also own the nail bit and so i wanted them to have similar furniture swatches and so you'll see i revisit this room 
and I changed the swatches of the massage tables to be a black cushion and then like a dark wood oak colour. But in here, as you can see, I placed down a little side table on either one of the rooms. I placed down this little like pretend tray, which I made using a fountain piece and then some planks of wood. Now I have done this before previously in other builds, but basically all I did is I found this fountain piece, which is meant to go inside of fountains. It's meant to be some sort of like decorations. We got it from the spa day game pack, not from the refresh. But then I found some debug planks of wood and basically sized down the planks of wood to be the same size as what this little like fountain piece was and then made it so it almost like lined around the trim of the fountain piece and then on the top of it i placed down some like lotion bottles i placed down some like little massage stones just like a nice little area just you know for your bits and bobs but also on the tables i placed down some monkey statues now you will notice that in the massage rooms i have one room that has two massage tables and then one that has just a single one and like I said when it came around to playtesting only one masseuse turned up and so I did get my sim to try and hi hire a second one she did a runner she never showed up and so I thought well for gameplay purposes I'm just gonna delete the second one and so there does end up being two massage tables they're just both single massage rooms but with the monkey statues for the initial couples room I placed down at two either side of where the massage table is and then in the singles room I placed down the same monkey statue even though I ended up deleting the second massage table for the couples room I still kept the statues just because I really like the look of them they look very zen they look very peaceful but if you are curious where them statues are from they are from the snowy escape expansion pack and you normally would be able to find them in like the live edit or debug menu because it is like a, a world item if you get your sims to go for a little hike in the world of Mount Kamurabi they can find them on their walk but I've noticed they're not actually available with the better build by mod which kind of like categorizes the live edit and the debug menu now I know you can find them in the debug menu and the live edit menu because before I had the better build by mod in my game I'd previously used them in a build and if you just have the cheat enabled and not the mod just like installed into your game you can find them but for some reason if you've got the better build by mod they're not categorized and so they're kind of invisible and so what i did for that room is i just popped onto the gallery and luckily someone had kindly uploaded a little room with all three statues and so yeah i just popped down the room took out the statues and then plonked them onto little side tables but either way moving over as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is the massive yoga studio so in here i placed down at the yoga instructor's mat at the very like end of the room that way the yoga instructor would look at the rest of the participants that are taking part in a yoga class but then all the different people or like your sims for example when they're having a yoga lesson they can kind of like look out behind the yoga instructor and there's this big body of water by each one of the yoga participant mats if you want to put it that way i placed down at some little towels and then also a water bottle but then behind the yoga instructors mat i think i placed down like a little fountain object and then i think again a water bottle and maybe like a plant or something i purposely put the yoga instructors mat to be a green color but then i do end up switching it out to be i'm pretty sure pink in the end just so you can kind of like see who is meant to be like the leader of the class if that makes any sense but also in this room as well i felt like it was only essential that i have kind of like a wall of mirrors whenever you look up or whenever you go into a yoga studio or a pilates studio or something in real life they do have mirrors all along the walls which is actually <laughs> terrible idea because once i took part in a pilates class i was struggling i was struggling really hard but i had a massive mirror facing me and i could just see how red my face was going but for the aesthetics of it i placed down some mirrors in that room as well and then something that i added which i was just so proud of this idea i placed down in my head yoga balls or like them balls that your sims would meant to do some exercise on it's actually just a massive horse ball. It doesn't function. It's purely for like decoration and almost like the aesthetics purposes. But basically when I was decorating that room, I was thinking, well, what do you have in like a yoga studio or like a Pilates studio? You might have an exercise ball. And so I searched for a ball in the build and buy category and I was searching through loads of different balls that I was going to potentially size up. I then noticed we've got this one ball, which is from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. It's meant to be a horse toy, but it literally, if you, if you use a white swatch of it, that you could tell me that's a yoga ball and I would believe you. And so I placed down a bigger one and then a slightly smaller one. And yeah, it kind of looks like some sort of exercise ball. But now moving over, as you can see, I'm just currently coming in and pretty much just finishing off 
the literal bathroom. So in here, you can see it's literally a room for baths. There's two baths. There is also some storage cupboards where your Sims can get changed into a towel potentially, or maybe if your Sims fancy, they don't have to wear any clothes and they can just pop into a nice little mud bath. It does seem really silly to have a dedicated room to be for a literal just bath, but for gameplay purposes, if your Sims wanna to come to the spa and yeah, maybe they wanna have a mud bath, maybe actually, maybe your Sims live in an apartment in the world of San Marchino and they've decided for the summer, they're gonna pop down to the Hamptons and they're gonna treat themselves and they're gonna have a, a bath <laughs> or a mud bath. And yeah, maybe they don't have a bath at home and so they can do it in, in that little room. But now I'm moving over, you can see that I've now come in and started decorating the next room, which is the nail salon. Now, I don't even know how, but just footage wise, I had around about 40 minutes worth of footage for just this one room alone. I don't know why it took me so long, but I wanted it to feel as realistic as what I could possible. So in here, I decided to use the massage chairs that we got from the Spa Day Refresh. Like I said, I used them in this like dark, oaky kind of colour and then also a black cushion swatch and then once I decided on this cushion colour I then decided to revisit the massage rooms and change the colours so they were kind of consistent throughout but in here your sims can get manicures they can get pedicures they can also get hair massages or foot massages I did also try and make a pretend now little station because your sims they just sit at the massage chairs when they do want to get a manicure or pedicure but I like for reason purposes when you go to a nail shop sometimes you do just sit at like a little desk like this and so I tried to make it seem like yeah there was going to be like a little nail tech sitting on one side and then your sims could sit on the other. Now I will say I was a little bit gutted because when it came around to play testing I noticed by the little like nail technician desk area over here for some reason the little lamps that I've used to try and make look like some sort of gel led lights i don't know if you're if you're familiar sometimes when you get like biab or something instead of waiting for like the nail varnish to dry over time you can put them into like a little uv lamp i try to size down these snowy escape lamps because to me that looks like a little lamp that you, you would put your hand into and i loved the idea but then i realized when i was playtesting for some reason that that lamp has flies around it and so i did decide to swap it out and place it with another lamp in the game but if you do notice in the screenshots that i changed at the lamp i didn't want to but i didn't want there to be flies in this room because it, it's not going to be a room that flies would accumulate in but on the little nail desk as you would have seen i placed down a little pot where people can tip the nail technician i also placed down a mug and i moved objects and nail files to make it look like different types of is it called grit and it, you know like now i don't i'm not into nails at all like i have been doing my nail recently i did actually recently get my nails done as well because i went on holiday but normally i do do my own nails but i just i must admit i just buy the box down and one whatever i can pick up and super drug i just pick up but i place down different nail files of different types of grit inside of the mug and then i also place down some lotions onto the desk i place down some nail varnishes and then i also place down a phone and then also some keys because recently when i went and got my nails done myself i didn't have anywhere else to put them and so when i was getting my acrylics put on i had the my little phone and my car keys on the desk it's a small little reference but i just i thought it was realistic and so yeah i just popped it down but also in the nail salon there ends up being a side table that has a little drinks tray on i will say there is so many different drinks trays on this lot i placed down ones that we got from spa day i placed the spa day ones into this room and i think in potentially the massage rooms or outside of it i then also placed down drinks trays that we got from the forerun expansion pack i also placed down a drinks tray that we got from the riviera retreat kit like there are so many different drink trays and what i like about it is the different drink tray options that i've used have different drinks on them so if your sims fancy they can have like a sparkling apple juice or if your sims fancy they can have like a sparkling something else juice i don't know the juices but there is different types of beverages from the different types of drink trays but just off a little nail technician room i made it so there's kind of like an area for you to wash your hands. Again, this is kind of referencing the nail shop that I went into recently, but basically sometimes when you get your nails done, they ask you to go wash your hands because I think it's with acrylics they ask you to wash your hands, but you get all these different powder and you know, you need some soap to kind of like get it off. But in the nail shop that I went into, you go through this little archway and they had the sinks where you have, you know, the, the soap and you have little towels to dry your hands on, but it's also where you choose your nail varnish colour. I, when I got my nails done, I must admit, I just went for the classic French tip almond because beautiful, that's trending at the minute, but 
normally this is where you normally pick your nail colour and so I placed down the shelving units, the one that I use is from the Spa Day Game Pack and then I got this base game nail varnish which I'm so grateful that the Sims team at one point updated it because at one point the nail varnishes that I've used, I think they had three swatches or something or they might have not even had any maybe it was just the one swatch but at one point when we got the spa day refresh a few years ago they gave us some updated swatches of that nail varnish and so i placed them down onto the shelves and i tried to make it color coordinated but it was quite hard because even though we have some updated swatches we are still kind of lacking but i tried to make it go from like pink to orange to red to then brown to then black and then like blue to green to orange like all these different colors and try and make it seem like yeah they were organized in some sort of way but now moving over you can see that i'm pretty much now just finishing up this upper level of the country club and spa so i placed down like a nice little side table again another drinks tray by the way, in gameplay, all the different masseuses will automatically fill up them drinks trays. So even though I'm placing them down and they have no drinks tied to them, if you run this as a spa, the masseuses at all different points a day will go around to all the different drinks trays and they will automatically fill them up for you. So no matter where your sims are, they can always just, you know, grab a little drink or something. But yeah, you know, I just basically finished up the hallway. Sometimes when I do big builds and I've got quite a big hallway, I'll leave the hallway till last because sometimes I might have a rejig of where the door placement might be on the inside of a room and I don't want it to disrupt the exterior like hallway portion and so I kind of left it till the end point and must admit I didn't really know what to put out there but I placed down yeah some more armchairs I placed down like a few plants in the corner some random stuff and then I also finished off by placing down a big painting we got it from the vampire game pack but you would have seen I rotated it so it was 90 degrees and I then moved objects two mirrors that we got from the spa day initial pack and then it basically propped them inside of the painting to make it look like the mirror was a framed one i just thought it was really pretty but either way moving over as you can see i've now moved on into the downstairs basement this is the first level and this is the level where the gym is so down here it's actually really funny to look back on because it ends up being so simple but this first initial hallway that you can see me furnish i had such a faff trying to figure out what kind of style I was going to go for because on the upstairs level so like the wedding area the gentleman's club the the spa area the massage room like all that kind of stuff I had an idea of what, what I wanted it to look like but then when it came downstairs to figuring out what is the country club's gym going to look like when I was googling like country club gym interiors they were all very traditional like it looks like some of the the gym equipment in them had been around for decades and i didn't want that feeling like i wanted it to feel somewhat modern but then still make it feel like an old money kind of country club if you get what i mean like i was just really struggling when it came around to figuring out like the first initial hallway how modern was i going to make it like what was the style choice i was going to go for in the end I basically just decided, do you know what? I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna revisit this build tomorrow. And that is basically what I did. And then I basically came back in in the morning and then it revisited this build or like revisited this area. And I'm just really happy with the way that the gym section ended up turning out. And the thing is, and it's funny to look back on because it's really nothing too special. Like you walk downstairs, there's a side table. I did make like a little separate like tray area, like what I did on the upstairs levels, which has some water bottles that I imagine is probably complimentary for all the gym members. But yeah, there's nothing to really write home about down here. But I just, I really struggled when it came around to figuring out how it's going to look. But either way, through here, as you can see, there is a little seating area. I was thinking maybe you've got someone in the gym and one of your sims is waiting for them. Maybe your sims partner is in the gym or maybe one of the yummy mummies is finishing up with like a personal trainer and maybe the kid's nanny time time's up and they need to drop them off and so maybe the kids are waiting outside here for their mums or something i don't know but it's just like a nice little waiting area outside at both the gym and then the changing rooms now for the changing rooms themselves i must admit the f gym floor changing rooms they are quite boring and they are kind of a bit of a hallway so you walk in through the changing room doors you've got some storage lockers your sims can put like their their backpack their shoes in there there is also some little like ottoman things that your sims can maybe sit on and put their their gym trainers on or something I definitely do prefer the downstairs changing rooms because the ones in the downstairs, that's where like the indoor pool is, that's where the hot springs is. And so I try and make it look like there's like hair dryers down there and you know, like more so fancier kind of things. But the changing rooms by the gym, yeah, I must admit they are quite boring. But I mean, at least it's realistic. I do go, no, I don't actually. I have a gym membership. I was about to say I go to the gym then. I have not visited that. I have not stepped foot into that building in a while. But I have a gym membership and the gym that I go to, there is changing rooms. 
nowhere near as nice as the ones that I built. I will say that, I will give credit where credit is due there. At least the changing rooms in this gym have seating area. If you want to put shoes on in my gym's changing room, you can't sit down and put your shoes on. You have to like angle your foot onto the air. So I just made it very short and sweet and very realistic. But just of the changing rooms, there is a door which goes into the downstairs toilets. Down here, I placed down two toilet cubicles. The ones that I've used, I think are from Discover University. I then placed down like a little sink area. I placed down the counters that we got from the spa day game pack. And then just off the little sink section, there ends up being two showers. So for the gym bathrooms, they're basically the exact same copies of each other if you want to put it that way so each bathroom has two toilet cubicles and then there is two doors and it goes into two separate showers the showers that i've used in this room are from the love struck expansion pack i believe of memory but in the showers themselves i placed down a little hanging plant i placed down a little stool that we got from the spa day pack then it also placed down what i was thinking could be robes but now looking back why would you have a robe in a gym maybe if you go to a really fancy expensive gym which i was picturing this is a really fancy expensive gym i imagine the membership is something ridiculous like 200 simoleons a month which actually simoleons doesn't really in pounds right if someone must say yeah i go to a 200 pound gym you know that they've got money most gyms are like 20 quid or something but i imagine that this is a very expensive gym to go to so maybe they just have dressing gowns for some reason in the gym but either way as well as that down here you can see that i've now moved on into the actual gym portion so in here i am just so happy with the way that the gym ended up turning out like i said when it came around to figuring out this downstairs portion to do the hallway it took me so many different attempts and that's why i think it's so funny because it's literally just a hallway babe like it's really nothing that deep but when it came around to figuring out the gym I just I had so much fun decorating it. I, I rarely ever decorate gyms in the game. So in here, I placed down this new object. We got it from the Love Struck expansion pack. It's basically just like a redesign of a base game gym equipment piece, but it looks a little bit more put together than some of the other ones. I'm not sure the official name, but it's a thing that is on the left-hand side. It's where your sims can work out their arms or they can work out their legs and stuff. And I did filter through all the different swatches that we have of this object in the game. And I found that we have either some really basic, quite nasty looking ones or like some that are just not my cup of tea or we have some really modern ones but luckily with the new love struck expansion pack they gave us a modern version of it but it's still quite neutral like it's not too modern hopefully you're following along with me but i just really liked it and so i decided to use it in here but also in this room i ended up placing down some mirrors alongside the walls i placed down some punching bags the punching bags that i've used are from the spa day game pack i then also placed down some weights onto some of the walls as well which i could not be happier because we with again the love struck expansion pack we got a weight decoration and i have been wanting something like that for so long in the game and it's so simple it's literally just a decoration with some dumbbells but to me especially for gyms like this it's just it's so much fun to just make it look like there's a wall of all these different dumbbells and all these different weights and stuff so yeah i'll place that down into there i do also place down and i'm not sure the official name of it but it's this gym equipment machine that we've got exclusively from the strangeville game pack it's meant to help you like prepared to fight the nasty thing that's in the world of strange film i'm not going to talk about it because i don't want to spoil it if you've never played it but it's meant to help you prepare for that big fight and there is a nice neutral swatch of it and so where there was kind of like nice empty space in the gym section and it was kind of like spongy flooring on purpose i thought well if your sim falls over at least it's a nice place to, to yeah put it down but then just off that we have where the cardio section is because in some gyms you will have like the weight section and the cardio section to be separate unfortunately i really wanted to place down some sort of like step machine or cross trainer but we don't have any of them in the game or like a bike an indoor bike but we only have a treadmill and so i just placed down some treadmills in there and then also again with the horse branch play ball thing which i tried to make look like some yoga ball or exercise ball and then also place down some of them into the corner and then finish that room off by placing down a shelving unit that we got from spa day and it looks to be some sort of like different protein powders or maybe like pre-workouts is on there or something and maybe you can buy it upstairs in like the initial entrance into this build but either way moving over as you can see i've now moved on downstairs again to the final level in this field which ends up being the indoor pool section the hot springs as well as the sauna so down here i kind of decorated it in almost like a similar way to how i decorated the upstairs level so i came downstairs i did kind of like the initial 
entrance bit into this section and then I went off and I did the changing rooms, figured out the changing rooms and then once I had the changing rooms to a point that I was happy with, I then went and did the rest of the downstairs stuff. But you basically walk down the stairs, got like a nice little table and then you can either chuck a left or you can chuck a right depending on what way your sims want to go. I do want to mention by the way, even though I've done two different changing rooms on each section, they're gender neutral. I didn't make it so they're any like particular gender or anything. One, because gameplay purposes, it's, do you know what? It's so annoying when sometimes you're in a build and you want your sims to go to the toilet. So you click on a toilet, start waving their hands up there. It's like, what's wrong with the toilet there? It's functional. What's, what's wrong with you? And it's because there's, it's behind a gender neutral door. And so whenever I do community venues, I always try and make it so I just use, you know, a door that anyone can walk through. And also I just feel like for, for realistic purposes, sometimes it's nice to have, you know, just general neutral rooms. But in here, as you can see, I'm coming in and decorating the downstairs changing room. This one is a lot more fancy. So you walk in through the door and you've got a much bigger seating area for your sims to sit down, put their shoes on or something. Also got some more lockers. And then it kind of like in this little indent, I sized up a base game shelf and then placed down some little tiny towels and then some cotton balls and then some like little hair dryers and stuff. And then initially I had placed down this really big mirror, but then you'll notice I had a bit of a, a mare because for some reason when I placed down this mirror all of a sudden my sims could just see a brick wall through the mirror or like I could see a brick wall through the mirror I didn't explain that very well but basically I placed down a mirror and then obviously mirrors reflect stuff which is on the other side of whatever you place it down on top and so I placed down this mirror and then all of a sudden it started showing me this red brick wall so like, what are you on about like what there's no red brick wall down here and so I swapped out the really big mirrors and then I placed down these tiny little circular ones I think the ones that I end up using are from the parenthood game pack of memory but I placed them down thinking well I don't really want to highlight the fact that for some reason double basements in the sims 4 are a little bit glitchy and if you try and place down a mirror for some reason instead of showing you what's actually in the room it shows you a brick wall so I tried to minimize it so I still wanted there to be some sort of area where your sims can actually see what they're doing if they are drying their hair but then once I actually came in and I was play testing it the red brick wall wasn't there through the mirror's reflection it just disappeared so for some reason when you're building on the second level of a basement in the game and you place down a mirror in build mode it will look like there is a red brick wall on the other side of it but once you enter gameplay it disappears I, d I don't know why that happens but it does happen but i just thought i'd mention it but as well as that in the changing rooms there is a little door which goes into some more toilets so if you're si honestly if your sims need a wee and they're in this community venue they are sorted there are so many like i said there's like 15 toilets on this lot but there are some more toilets but then on this section instead of having the showers off where your sims would use the toilet i made it so if your sims wanted to go from the changing rooms and then they wanted to go basically outside into the pool area Area. I say outside, you know, like outside the changing rooms to where the pool is. Your sims will have to walk through a corridor and then just off the corridor, that's where the showers are. I feel like for realism purposes, that's most more common when it comes around to like a little spa area. I have been to one spa before in the past i've only ever been to one and the one that i've been to that is basically the situation so you walk through the changing rooms and then you have the showers that you're meant to shower in before you enter the pool section so yeah i did a very similar thing in this build and then once you actually walk through the doors you then have currently no pool but blue tile on the floor now i know it seems stupid to not actually have the pool down here yet but basically something that i discovered when i was doing the floor plan for this build is on the second level basements in the game you can't build a swimming pool and then change your mind and then want to move it once you put that pool down it's there for life you cannot delete it unless you want to build a room and make a separate room so say for example where i place down this blue tile if i was to draw a line and then delete the room i could then remove the pool but it's not really ideal is it and so what i thought is well when it comes around to actually furnishing this room instead of trying to build the pool and then if i fancy like changing my mind and switch it out then not being able to do so instead of placing down the actual pool itself i'll place down some blue tile and it can be my pretend pool until I actually add it in. Don't worry, there does end up being a pool down here. But just in case I changed my mind or I wanted to move things about and I wanted to maybe have a bit of a shift about of where the pool was going to be, I just made it so, yeah, it's just a blue tile for the minute. But you will see shortly, I will add in an actual pool. But down here, I placed down two saunas. I was thinking that they were different kinds of saunas as well. Like I said, I have been to one spa before. And the spa that I've been to, there was 
two saunas and a steam room. So maybe one of the saunas down here is a steam room and maybe one of them is a sauna. Or maybe one of them's one certain type of sauna that's got one sort of coal or salts. I don't know. I've, honestly, I don't know what goes inside of them. But maybe one of them is one type of sauna and the other one is a different type of sauna. But your sim basically have one either side of this downstairs level. I mean, if they go through one door, they'll enter where the little hot springs is. So the hot springs item itself is something that we got from the Snowy Escape expansion pack. But it's somewhere where your sims can go into and they can have like a little like, relaxation area. I would say I highly recommend that you get your sims to shower before you go in there because when I was playtesting, my sim had a shower because it's fruit. I think if you don't have a shower before you enter hot springs, and I'm pretty sure in gameplay as well, your sims will get a negative mood look, like they feel dirty because they didn't do the appropriate, you know, things before you actually get in there. But my sim had a shower. However, the other sims that was attending this spa, who can I just say for some reason, I had about 50 male men in this spot. Don't know why. Recently, I think there was something added so you can get your Mal Speedy delivered or something in the game. But for some reason, all the NPCs that spawned into this spa or downstairs into the hot springs were Mal men or just Mal people, like people that just deliver your Mal. And they didn't shower before they got into these hot springs and it made it go really dirty. And so you will see, for your gameplay purposes, I did it so just off a little hot springs area, there is, again, like I said, another sauna, but then there is also some more showers. So your sims, they can either have a shower by the changing rooms or before they pop into the hot springs. But over here, as you can see, I tried to make some sort of like window glass wall of bamboo, and then I placed down some sun lounges as well. And then I basically, I'm just gonna go around the build, finish it off by placing down a few more decorations, some final touches, but that is pretty much it. So anyway guys, I'm going to end this voiceover right here. As always, you can download this build via the gallery. My gallery ID is JessicaPyYT, or you can just search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT, or just the hashtag JessicaPy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe, and hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedrunning video. Bye guys.